Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. It's currently part 7, no, is it? Yes, it is currently part 7 for my Let's Play, and it is the 15th of March 2019 as I am recording this. So our current objective is to return to the port because we now have another sea chart, which means that we can explore more of this game and access the next dungeon as well. So that's going to be pretty nice. There are a few things that we need to do before we actually get to that particular quadrant of the sea. But you'll be able to see what that is. Get it? See? Because I... Ha! <laughs> anyway, no. I had best shut up. So, we'll go and head over to the dock, I'll call it. Calling it the port can work. I would call it the dock, personally. Oh, if you roll too much, then that happens. How much money do we even have? I think we have a lot of money. Ah, uh, you can see our items list is here. I haven't actually seen this before, or at the very least I haven't shown you this on camera before. You can see that we do have a space for potions here. That's how that works. We don't actually have empty bottles in this game. You just have potion slots. So you can buy different potions, but you can only have two of a particular potion at any time. Or two of any sort of potion, I should say. That's a bit misleading. Uh, we can see that we have... Well, if we go into the collection, the Phantom Hourglass is there on the top screen. And it actually tells you how much time we have in it at the moment. It says that we still have a maximum of 10. So therefore, there was no actual benefit to getting that extra time in our hourglass while we were there. Because it just resets to 10 minutes anyway, and it doesn't increase from that point. You can see that we have one power gem. And then, you know, wisdom and courage gems will be there as well. Oh, you're spoiling it, Doom Link. No, it's bloody obvious what they are. Uh, you can see that we actually have letters here as well that are put in this position. Well, I'm trying to show you, but I can't because you can't see my stylus. So we have 182 rupees right now. And I'm a little bit worried that we will hit our 200 maximum, so... See what's actually here. What is this? Another collectible item. A Helmarok plume. Well, maybe we c What's this for? Fills eight hearts automatically. Well, that's obviously not necessary right now. We might just buy one red potion, shall we? It's only 50 rupees. We actually may as well. Uh, how much for these bombs? I'm assuming we actually need a bomb bag for that. She'll tell us that we need one. You don't have a bomb bag? I can't sell bombs to people without bags. Okay. Well, we'll be getting the bomb bag fairly soon. Spoilers is actually the next dungeon item, but we do get another item before we even go to that dungeon, so we're actually going to have two more items by the time we... What do you have to say to... Like what? Does that ship of yours have a cannon? Yes. You have a cannon now? Now monsters have a reason to fear you. Rocks too. I'm going to tell him that we don't have a cannon. No. They make sea life easier, or at least louder. Hmm, that's about all I know. Well, thanks... So he just said that that's about all I know, and he proceeds to tell us about Edo's garage. Anyway. Now that I think about it, I probably should have saved those rupees for the cannon. <laughs> anyway, that's alright. I'll be able to get more rupees pretty easily. So we do actually need to blow on this, uh, on this stupid thing, so one moment. Alrighty. Oh, hey, another crest has appeared. Achoo! Hey, look, I mean, I knew it all along. I knew it was hidden there. I've always had a sixth sense for these things. We aren't falling for it, Linebeck. You didn't know that was there. Don't pretend to know what I don't know. Anyway, I bet a spirit's right there. So, obviously, we do want to go to that particular island. Let's be off. Go now. So I'm guessing we're going to have to find out that we need the cannon before we go anywhere. Well, we don't actually want to go to the north just yet, but you'll see. Neat, huh? Right? Well, we may as well make the journey just so that it can actually do the story sort of thing. You guys will see what happens, if you don't know already. But basically, we're not going to be able to enter through this particular direction just yet. I do like this music. It's kind of nice. Alright, let's uh, jump. 
You don't really notice it, but when you do actually draw the line yourself, I mean, of course you draw the line yourself, but in this particular game, that's the only way you can do things. When you do draw the line yourself, what ends up happening is you um, have the boat constantly turning in weird ways. Oh. I didn't think it was going to be this frickin' cyclone. Well, water spout, whatever you want to call it. This thing's dangerous. I think that's actually in the next sea where we need to bother with that thing. Or at the very least, avoid that thing. You guys will see that there's actually something else that's going to be in our way. Oh, never mind. It is that. <laughs> Whatever. So we can't actually enter the sea from this direction because of that. I thought something else was going to come, but that's a little bit later, I think. We'd better try another route. So basically, what we need to do now is go this way. But you'll see that there's something in our way. We need to go through the motions before we actually get the damn cannon. As you can see, that big opening in the rocks on our sea chart, I mean, that's not actually what's there in reality. There is instead these rocks. Hold up. Watch where your course is taking us, Link. Your course is, has us in the proximity of certain doom. Those rocks look brutal. No way you can bust through unless we get our hands on a cannon or something. Hmm, a cannon. So we do need to stop and then reroute to Cannon Island. Hard turn to starboard. This was actually the game where I learned port and starboard, funnily enough. Because, I mean, we're talking about, you know, 2007. That was a while ago. I was pretty young back then. I didn't know my, um, I guess my sailor's terminology back then. Is it freaking raining outside? God, my work clothes are never going to freaking dry. At least I think it's raining. Anyway. Probably going to have to take them upstairs or something. Regardless, that's something for me to worry about. Wahoo! I don't know who's going wahoo. I'm going to guess that it's Lineberg. So we're heading to Cannon Island, as it's called. It's kind of obvious. I mean, hmm, I need a cannon. Where do I go? Cannon Island? Hmm. Uh, they do make it a little bit obvious, but anyway. Let's go and talk to Edo. The assistant isn't actually Edo, but um, what do you have to say for yourself? You've come to... Yeah, Master Edo's garage. Fuzo? And you? Oh, nice to meet you, Link. What? You want a cannon? Sorry, little guy, but we don't have any ready to sell. Not yet. Master's working on one, though, so he's withdrawn to his workroom. He's gone and locked himself in there. If you really, really, really want a cannon, then go speak with the master. You can go around the island to reach the back door. Dangerous, though. The back door's never locked, so that's your ticket to meet the master. That's kind of... I mean, it's not just my ticket to meet the master, it's also my ticket to rob your joint. So thanks for letting me know that it's never locked. So he's gone and opened the door for us. Watch yourself, little guy. There are indeed monsters around. So let's go and not actually be in danger at all because they're just red choo-choos. At least for now. What does this say? Where be a fortune amid the beehives? Oh, Jesus. So let's just avoid the damn beehives. I'm going to kill the uh, individual bees because they annoy me. I don't know if the bee will actually hurt me or not. Basically, you can attack the beehive and destroy it, and maybe you can get a rupee as well. But it causes all the bees to come after you. It's a nightmare, so I'm not actually going to, um... Oh my god. Sometimes your sword just bounces off stuff. Basically, depending on how many rupees we need, we'll probably go and get our rupees from smashing open the beehives and stuff. I don't know why the hell there are rupees in beehives. Maybe these are magical bees that create money. That old joke where money doesn't grow on trees, that's pretty much the case in this game. Except uh, it grows on trees through beehives because bees actually create money. In the same way that a, um, well, an oyster or a whatever would create a pearl. I say oyster, I actually mean like a... What's it called again? Oh, we can actually throw that through there. I was thinking that we might not be able to. But you know, a clam, an oyster, you know, a shellfish sort of thing. But anyway, let's push this, and we if we can actually kill one of those rats, that would be pretty great. 
we were not able to kill one of those rats, sadly. So what we're going to do is take this rock out of here. Or this block, actually, is the better term. Can we even get it out of here? Oh, we can. It's actually a weird perspective, to be honest. It's just so that we have the space to get the thing out of here. This thing, by the way. So let's not get killed by these damn rats. More rupees. Lovely. Okay, so let's go take this bomb flower all the way over here. You can see that the bomb flower design is pretty much the same as it was in Wind Waker. Same with just the general bomb designs. In fact, all the designs are that way. So I kind of want to hit these bombs. Never mind, I thought it was going to set off a, a chain reaction. It certainly did not. God damn it. So these rats are just here so that you accidentally blow yourself up with bombs. Seriously, that's the purpose of it. I like setting off that chain reaction. Anyway, that was a pretty small one, though. I think I killed a rat with that. Very nice. Maybe we'll get some rupees from this chest. Let's have a look. Yep. We are going to need the rupees. I think we might need 200 for this. But once again, it'll be really easy to get these rupees, I think. If worst comes to worst, then we'll just go ahead and... Smash open some beehives, I think. I'm going to throw a rock at you, by the way. As you can see, full control over where you throw things is actually pretty cool. It's pretty much 360 degree throwing ability at this point. With absolute accuracy. <laughs> he ran into the bomb, which caused it to explode. Anyway, I think we've pretty much gone the whole way around at this point. Let's get some hearts. Monster. Hearts are definitely needed, because I suck. Now, okay. I don't know where the bomb flower that we need is going to be located, but... Yeah, rocks are pretty good for attacking enemies. Can't deny that. Where is the bomb flower? Because we need one to get further. Or to get through there. Sorry. Didn't mean to actually do that. Um. Well, what about this chest? Where, where is that? Am I able to... Maybe... Oh! <laughs> Hello. Actually rolled into a big rupee. 200 rupees. Jesus. Balls. That was the most random thing I've ever done. Not only did I not intend to roll there... But after rolling into that tree, I got 200 rupees. It's like, what? That was really weird. So what we want to do is pick this up here, then run this way. This is insanity. We can't make it. So how do we... Okay, so instead of going around this way, we need to instead take the bomb over here. That's probably going to be something that we can achieve. It's still going to be hard, though. We need to take this one. It's closest, technically. Okay, well, we brought, well we destroyed one of them. I was going to say broke, but broke is a bit of a weird term. Anyway, I think we definitely have the rupees that we need now. It's probably 200 or 250, something like that. So, yeah. Purely by chance, we now have the rupees that we need. Whereas I'm pretty sure we didn't before. Hello, Edo. As you can see, he's uh, a little bit beaten up. What do you want? What? You demand a cannon? You impress me. You'd brave this dangerous isle for one of my cannons. For a sea shrimp, you've got good eye. Or a good eye. Yeah, I have the guts to hear how much. Ready? I'll say it. Get ready, guy. I'm serious. I'm going to say it. 50 rupees? What? What? Of course I'm going to spend 50 rupees for that shit. I don't know why they don't charge you more in this game. They should just... Have it be so that you have to spend, you know, 200. Because I got that many without a problem, so... I don't really care how bad people are at this game. They shouldn't need to have it be so cheap. Why is it like a doggy flap? What's the deal with that door? Anyway. And what's the deal with that guy in his weird overalls? He's got like a bear sticking his head out. 
This is a letter from the postmaster to you, Link. Ahem. Here's what it says. To Link. If you're getting this, I guess that my new postman is working out, so far. Yeah, except for the fact that he's reading my frickin' letters for me. So I'd like to make an unusual request. He's as good as a new hire gets. He's as diligent and efficient as they come. I've got no complaints. I want to keep it that way, so be nice to the postman. He really is a good kid, the postmaster. And that's it. Wow, kind of embarrassing. Not like I wrote it, but it was odd to read it out loud. Well, don't. Sign here, will you? Okay, well... I won't put my actual signature there, so... What, what will I do? Okay, I'll just type Doom Link. Well, no, rewrite. It's a terrible K, but that'll do. Doom Link. Good, that wraps it up. See you later. I have actually um, signed my signature on, like, a digital thing with a stylus a number of times. Generally when collecting um, packages in the post, and I have to go to the post office to get it. But anyway, we're almost at the point where we're going to be ending the video, but we can, first and foremost, go and destroy this damn place, and I guess we can go to Molitor Island in the process. Hopefully this course doesn't take us directly... Oh, now that we have the big cannon, I'd better show you how to handle the thing. <laughs> just tap anything you see and the cannon fires at it. <laughs> Pretty difficult, isn't it? Oh, we just shot a freaking bird out of the sky. I didn't even intend to do that. Please don't actually put us on course to this. Uh... Okay, good. But yeah, really, it's quite simple, and we can shoot as many of these as we want. It's not like the... Um... Oh, hazard ahead, leap it. Will do. I was going to try and shoot at it, but I chose not to. But yeah, we have a cannon now. And if we do see that golden frog, we'll shoot the damn thing. And I don't think it's uh, around at the moment. I don't know if it only hangs around in that specific area, or it's... Um, actually appears elsewhere. It probably appears elsewhere, but... Oh, hello. That's an actual enemy that we need to attack. As you can see, the cannon just destroys these rocks in one go. I was able to just stop there just to be safe, but I chose not to. There we go. So we get rupees for doing that. Enemy sighted. Hold on. Hang on a moment, Link. Look. C could that be the... Uh-oh. It's the ghost ship. It has surfaced at last. The ghost ship. I can't believe that we're laying eyes on it. Let's follow it. Okay. So instead of actually running away from the thing, we're going to follow the thing. So we've got a... Whatever it's called, an octo. Goodbye. Thanks for the 20 rupees. Let's shoot the cannon at the thing. Anyway. So I believe that the... Ghost Ship theme is now playing. And I do like the Ghost Ship theme. It's cool. The fog is thickening. Be careful, Link. This fog is maddening. I can't even see something or other. <laughs> it disappeared too quickly. I mean, what kid can read it that fast? You know, I think that I would actually be able to remember the safe pathway to this. The Isle of Gust. Basically, there is a specific way that you need to sail through this particular section of the map for you to not get lost in the fog. I'm pretty close to the ghost ship at this point. I'm actually successfully shooting the thing right now. Look at it. My cannon... Oh god, it's gonna hurt. Oh dear. Well, let's not let that happen again. If I get hit by one more damn thing, it's not going to be a good time. Hard turn to port. <laughs> oh my god. No. No, 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 no. Look, we need to actually get lost in this fog. That's what's necessary right now. We can't allow this ship to just get blown up. This fog is really annoying, isn't it? 
Oh god, hold on. Where's the enemy? There we go. It's actually really dangerous right now. Hold on, let's keep following the thing over here. This ghost ship is being annoying. But I think we've tailed it really freaking well. The fog, this is ridiculous. And then somehow we just got teleported over here. We were chugging along, making headway there. Pa, you think maybe it could be the ghost ship? Well, anyway. We are indeed going to retreat. And seriously, this freaking ship is about to explode, so... Let I me mean, just look at it. Anyway. It's worth mentioning that every single time you return to an island... Well, I say return. Every single time you dock at an island... Oh, God. But yeah, every time you dock at an island... Oh, we got a heart from that. That's very nice. But yeah. Linebeck, how it works is... Linebeck will actually repair the ship. So... Yeah. Probably before we go to the next destination after this island, we will go ahead and see what's going on on that ship down there. But for now, I'm just going to get to this island because it's about time for me to end the video. At least fairly soon. So yeah. Don't know how Linebeck feels about everything being on fire, but... Um, oh, enemy sighted. Where? Oh, hold on. I don't care about the enemy. I want to hit this frickin' golden frog. Oh, never mind. Where are you? There you are. So I really... You know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna go and hit this golden frog. Like, actually hit this golden frog. Where is it? Do you want to appear again? It's not too difficult to hit the thing. Where are you? He's eluding me. Alright, let's um, go back around. I'm going to do a bit of a wide circle here. In the hopes that he appears again. Maybe not. Got that enemy returning. Don't care about him. I want to hit the frog. I don't remember what happens when you hit the frog, but... Why do I suck so much? Damn you! I need this frog. Watch out for that little whirlpool thing. Oh god, that's gonna take out a heart of our health, I think. This is freaking dangerous. Alright, hit these bombs, and then hit the Octo, please. Because I think the Octo will charge at us if we take too long. There we go, we got a heart from that, thank god. Alright. We've now arrived at Molida Island, which is a bit of a, you know, islander sort of place. We can't navigate through the fog, so what are we supposed to do? We can't get to the crest location on the chart unless we pass through the fog. What do we do? Do you want to ship out? No! Christ, no! I didn't actually want to ship out. Let's go back to the island. As much as I want to get the, um, the golden frog, we do need to do things at this island first. Alrighty, so that's it for this video everyone, I hope you enjoyed, it has been part 7 of my Let's Play, and I'll see you guys in the next video which will of course be part 8. Catch you all later.